log in to RaidWare portal in order to download latest version of the VDirect and the local license server plugin. Navigate to Menu Then Downloads Navigate to Management and Monitoring Navigate to VDirect Choose a VDirect version. In this example we are using 4.6. Choose the appropriate infrastructure. In this example we are using VMware. Download the license server plugin. Wait for the downloads to complete. Now we'll deploy a new VDirect device using the newly downloaded OVA template. Open VMware vSphere client and log into the infrastructure. Navigate to File. Then select Deploy OVF template. Click Browse and select the VDirect OVA template. Follow the wizard accepting the end user license agreement and choosing the appropriate cluster and host for the deployment. Select the VLAN allowing communication between VDirect and required Altion devices. To function properly, Gel needs TCP ports 22. 443 and 7070. Finish the wizard and wait for the device to complete deployment. Power on VDirect. Once powered on, use the console to configure a static IP. Log in to the VDirect. By default the username is root. And the password is RaidWare. In this example the VDirect got an IP via DHCP. We'll configure a static IP instead. To do so, edit networking configuration using the command vi slash etc slash network slash interfaces. Change the IP type to static and provide address, netmask, gateway, and DNS server. In order for the change to take effect, restart the networking service using the command slash etc slash init.d slash networking, restart. Now let's copy the local license server plugin to the VDirect. In this example we are using WinSCP. Now let's use the VDirect CLI to extract the plugin and install it. In this example PuTTY is used.
navigate to the location of LLS and extract it using the command tar-zxf followed by the LLS archive name. Navigate to the extracted directory and initiate the install script using the command dot slash install dash dash server dash alias followed by a meaningful name for the license service or the entitlement ID received from Radware support. Now we'll use vDirect web-based management and discover an Altion, by navigating to https colon slash slash vDirect IP on port 2189. Navigate to, Inventory. Select ADCs, and create new ADC. Provide a meaningful name and all the management information of the Altion device. In order to use GEL, each Altion must be configured with DNS server and routing of the DNS traffic to management network. Use the following commands, slash cfg slash l3 slash dns slash prima, followed by the DNS server IP. And slash cfg slash sys slash mmng slash dns mgmt. Navigate to, Operations. Select Catalog. Then initiate the License Server Activate workflow, while providing the activation ID received from Radware support. Wait for completion message and click Dismiss. Let's make sure Altion doesn't have license installed yet, using CLI, slash info slash SW key. Now let's initiate Altion license configure workflow in order to configure the LLS as Altion's license server. Wait for completion message and click dismiss. At this point we can allocate license to the Altion, doing so by initiating the Altion license allocate workflow, in this example we use 25 meg throughput and secure feature set. Let's check the results in the Altion using the command, slash info slash sw key. You can see the Altion licensed with 25 meg throughput and the security pack. We can use the license server report to verify how the allocation affected our licenses. Now let's readjust the license allocation to 100 meg. To achieve this use the Altion license allocation workflow. Let's check the results in the Altion using the command, 
slash info slash SW key. Now let's remove the license from the Altion in order to return and back to the license pool using the Altion license remove workflow. Let's check the results in the Altion using the command slash info slash SW key.